Okay, Mercedes ML tra trailer wiring. Unfortunately, I started this, I taped, and my camera was not working. So, <laughs> I'm starting over halfway done. So, um, okay, let's start up in the fuse box. If you don't have the stock factory wiring, take a 20 to 25 amp. It's supposed to be a 25, but I've got a 20 in here right now to check. I'm gonna put a 20 amp fuse into number 18, which is you see F18, 25 amp trailer wiring. That's the positive for trailer wiring. Uh, you'll do that and then you will take out the three rubber plugs or plastic plugs on this side of the uh, trim panel on the bottom, bottom of the passenger compartment or the uh, tailgate. Three Phillips screws like this. Take them out and then you can one Phillips screw in the cargo hook, pull that out, and then you have to pull this away. You can take the top, uh, you might as well take this off, pry from the top only, use a plastic tool or something, pry from the top, pull it out halfway, and then slide it up. Um, where is that cargo? Unfortunately, I've got everything apart right now. I did do this in order, but I'm not putting everything back together to start again. And then you will peel, pull the uh, the side panel away. I disconnected it from the C pillar um, or D pillar. This would be a D pillar. Disconnected it from the D pillar plastic. Just slid the little uh, tabs here. You can see a tab there and a tab there. Slid those up and out so I can slide this away. And then inside you will find this is the factory trailer wiring connector. And after you've plugged that F18 fuse in, you're going to use your multimeter, um, multimeter, uh, and test for power. See this red wire at the top? That top red wire is the positive power. Without the fuse in, there will be no power to it. Uh, the brown one, as on all Mercedes, is negative. This one is negative. So we're going to clip these three wires, and then the rest of the wiring connecting uh, connections will be in there. Um, actually, no, I'm not going to connect the ground because I'm going to ground it right here to the um, this chassis ground. This is an 11 millimeter bolt. Just take this off. And depending on the, the wiring harness you have, or the adapter, the trailer adapter you have, they're all pretty much the same. This one's got a ground here, which is white, and it already has an eyelet on it. So I'm going to slip that eyelet over top of the post and ground it there. If you don't have a post on here, there you can take this wire and then hook it to the blue, or sorry, to the two brown connectors in there. Snip those and then connect this solder and then shrink wrap or whichever way you're going to connect it. You can use butt connectors. The positive, which is that red wire that we showed you under there, this is going to be the positive connector. I'm going to have to snip this off and use another connector. And it's kind of tight to get in here. Uh, very tight, in fact. So that top red wire, that's the one that's going to be positive. If you're going to be hooking negative to uh, uh, hooking up to these cables, these two brown, the bottom one and the middle one, they look, might look kind of orangey on the camera. I can't tell. So red, brown, and then brown. Those two brown you would disconnect and hook up to the negative on your trailer wiring adapters, the red to the positive, and then we'll go and we'll grab the other three wires. Um, uh, for the for the brake lights, turn signals, and tail lights, four wires. Excuse me. Um, back in a minute. One more thing to mention: this wire, uh, this red wire up here, will be hot all the time once you put the fuse in the fuse box. So before you cut it, once you've tested it to make sure there's actually power coming through it, pull the fuse out of the fuse box. The, that F18 fuse, uh, the 25 amp. Pull it out before while you're doing all the connections. You just want to put it in at first to make sure there's actually power coming back here. There is power, so I've pulled the fuse out, and now I can cut into this without uh, worrying about it. Again, this is will be hot even when the ignition is off. This will be powered, so you don't want that to uh, to stay on. Anyway, uh, back in a minute. Okay, so I've got my power wire. Sorry, this is very hard to see in here for you guys. The power wire is spliced in to the wire, not to the connector, to the wire. You could, if you have, nah, nah, never mind. If you have a plug, you could plug it into there. But I've just clipped the red power wire as close to the connector as I could to get me as much length as possible, because there's not a lot of room to work in here. 
Uh, so that's my red power wire on this connector. It is black. That is my battery wire. Goes straight to the battery. This one goes straight to the battery. Negative, I'm gonna hook up last because it just screws on here. It's pretty easy to get to. Now the other wires that I'm gonna be getting, I'm gonna be tapping into are the pink, the blue, the green, and the orange wire. Not the brown, the orange, there's orange. And those are gonna be for tail lights, stop lights, left and right turn signals. And I'm just gonna be using crimp on butt connectors or splice connectors. They slide through, they slide through one wire. Not this one, not, this is just for example. They slide through the wire and then you attach the wire the other wire into the hole. Um, I'll show you that when I'm doing it. Um, anyway, uh, that's the wiring connectors and I'll be back in a second. Actually, due to the space in there where I can't get both hands and arms in there and hold everything, I'm gonna use these um, splice connectors which can basically clamp over a wire, a single wire. So the one we're gonna splice onto, it'll clamp over and then this side, see that little slot there? The wire that you want to connect to that, you will take a male connector, crimp that onto the connector wire that you want to connect it to, and then it will plug into that one. There's my little list of wires. Um, so I'm going to crimp all these onto the four connectors that I need, and I'll be back in a second to hook them up. Okay, so I've got all the female ends of the wire connectors on there. I don't know if you can see those. I'm trying to stay out of the light. They're clamped onto the four wires. And now I'm just gonna hook the male ends to these four wires and we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so now I've got the male connectors in and I just plug them into those females that I clamped onto the terminals again. One more time. <laughs> so this is the, these are the wires coming from the trailer control unit, the aftermarket one. So green is going to go to pink, that's right turn, and it's marked on your trailer control unit, it'll always be marked on there. Yellow is going to left turn, or green on the Mercedes wiring harness. Red is going to orange, which is brake lights, and brown, or gray, grayish brown, is going to the blue, which is the tail lights. I'm just gonna plug all those in to those little connectors, and again, it is a, it's hard to get in there. It's hard to even get two hands in there and do this. Uh, if I took the whole side panel off, but I am not going to do that. It's just a pain in the butt. So I just, uh, I'm digging through here. So I'm going to plug all those uh, into their connectors, put the fuse back in the front, and then we'll test it out. Okay, so you can watch this connector as I switch back and forth. This connector actually has, uh, it's really cool. <laughs> this unit has a connector with a built-in thingy showing that the power is getting to this end, that your connections are all good. Oh, sorry. Uh, so that's your ground. That is your TM trailer or marker light uh, Left turn right turn. So I've got right turn signal on right now. It's flashing. This one's uh, The tail light that one's on so I'm going to turn to left turn And it was right turn still on. Oh, oh no, I turned my windshield wipe. Good God. I'm stupid. Hold on. Yeah, it helps when you're not brain dead. Okay, left turn. And then I'm gonna hit the four ways, uh, the hazard lights. So we'll see, they both should flash. The both right ones should flash. Okay, so we are good to go. Wiring is good. Um, and I'm just gonna tuck that box. That box can just go back down here. This is all rubberized and insulated. Um, I'm gonna wrap the box in something, uh, just probably a piece of uh, like upholstery foam or something, tape it around it just so it doesn't rattle around back there and uh, jam all the wiring back in and leave this out. I don't tow a trailer too often, maybe once a month. So um, mine's not going to go down underneath the car um, and hang out down there. If you do do that, if you do tow quite often, if you look right in front of my finger right there, right where that wire is, there's a rubber plug here. I'm pushing on it's like a body drain plug 
uh, you can run the wiring straight down through that cut a slit in it run the wiring connector the trailer wiring connector straight down through that and then run it under the body toward where the trailer hitch is anyway uh, hopefully that's it and hopefully that helped somebody uh, you can do I've seen other videos on YouTube and I've done it myself before splice onto the trailer wiring uh, the actually wiring and then run to the other side and hook up to the other wiring but this is the wiring harness pre-provided for you this is the one from the dealership it's got left and right turns and everything all on one side of the car so you don't have to take apart everything on both sides this is all the power everything supplied right there and ready to go thanks for watching okay so hopefully you can see all those plugged in where they are all i have to do now is hook up the ground bolt that in put the fuse back in and we're going to test it Okay, so now I've got the male connectors in, and I just plug them into those females that I clamp onto the terminals again. One more time. <laughs> so this is the, these are the wires coming from the trailer control unit, the aftermarket one. So green is going to go to pink, that's right turn, and it's marked on your trailer control unit, it'll always be marked on there. Yellow is going to left turn, or green on the Mercedes wiring harness. Red is going to orange, which is brake lights, and brown or gray, grayish brown, is going to the blue, which is the tail lights. I'm just gonna plug all those in to those little connectors. And again, it is, it's hard to get in there. It's hard to even get two hands in there and do this. Uh, if I took the whole side panel off, but I am not gonna do that. It's just a pain in the butt. So I just, uh, I'm digging through here. So I'm gonna plug all those uh, into their connectors, put the fuse back in the front, and then we'll test it out.